What's up with everybody? It's your man Moyo B. And Nicole. We're back here with another reaction mm -hmm. video. Special video quest from Dimitri O. He mm -hmm. wants us to react to. Uh, 2020 Nissan GTR 50th Anniversary Edition versus the R34 Skyline GTR V Spec. Okay. So basically, two fast, fun cars. <laughs> yeah, pretty much in a 2020. <laughs> that's all I can tell so you. they're pretty much already out right now. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's true. 2021 comes out in 2019. Yeah, it's probably already out. I don't know. It's silly, but... Yeah, they just like to do it. But yeah, man, this is going to be a pretty fun yeah, video know. to check out. It's going to be a lot of fast car racing, Yeah, fast car, like fast mm -hmm. and the furious, maybe. <laughs> but when I say thank you, Demetrio, for yep, your support, thanks. let's dive right into it. Mm -hmm. Yep, I fast like cars. I have both cars. Yeah. Well, the color all right. You like, you like blue, though. I love blue. I like the second car. Well, it's pretty much the same. I'm not big on the tails. Yeah. Oh, you don't like the tails? I don't know why. It's not my thing. But the one on the left would be the sleeker one is more my look. Yeah. That one. That one. Oh, that makes sense. It looks like a '99. Yeah. Like, obviously, it looks kind of like old. Like yeah. But like okay. you know. Yes, we are, and you probably that makes way more sense. The right hand side of the vehicle, so this has been imported from Japan, and this was the first year that Bayside Blue was offered, and that is the first yeah, because we drive on the left side. So before we get into all the other stuff, let's I thought it looked retro. I just didn't know what I was making yeah. that. The car has been modified and it's putting down 504 wheel horsepower and 380 pound feet of torque from an RB26 DET 2.6 liters hmm. turbo inline six. And this 2020 just be pumping them cars up. Putting out pumping them cars up with like steroids. <laughs> you know, we're not steroids though, but you know, they just pump them up. Yeah, so Make them supercars. Putting that power down to the wheels. So at the crank, they're actually pretty similar for horsepower. This one originally, when it came out, it put down around 276 horsepower because in Japan there was a gentleman's agreement so that they wouldn't go too crazy. <laughs> Realistically, this was probably around 300, 320. So we should probably downshift and see how this power feels. I'm gonna downshift oh, sticks. with my left hand. Ready to send? Three, uh, two, oh yeah, no big. Any car like this, it's a race car, is always stick shift. Yeah. Because you get better um, speed. Yeah. I'm going to be real with you. I'm pretty sure the new one's a bit faster than that modified one. A little bit uh, faster for sure, but I also have to take time to shift, and I'm shifting with my left hand, and I'm on the right hand side of the car. Yeah. So yeah. I would be really weird for me to shift my left hand. I'd have to figure that one out. Yeah, you had to get used to it. Technically, what Brian would have been driving in Fast and Furious would be more accurately that. It's true. Yeah. Actually owns any of these stock anyway. So they are trying to compare the Fast and Furious vehicles, I guess. <laughs> keep going. We know a lot of you guys are watching without subscribing, so just hit the subscribe button so we can do more cool videos like this. The sooner we can get to a million subscribers, the sooner we can drive. I don't know, a Formula One car. Oh, I wonder where they're doing this at, because they look like on a city street. Yeah. Let's explain to the wonderful viewers how we got an R34 in Canada. So this is provided oh, they're by in Canada. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Oh. They're, they're our neighbors. Canada allows you to import cars that are 15 years or older. In America, nope, that's 25 years. So you guys can't get Dang. it. There are a couple legal ones because there are certain loopholes, but... So America Canada can get theirs a bit earlier. So the prices yeah. are going to skyrocket out of Canada. So I think we need to find out which one of these GTRs is cooler. On the count of three. What if you got dual one, citizenship? Two, three. <laughs> You know. Well, you could go up to Canada and bring it, bring it back. down, but then I don't know if you buy, pay taxes on. I don't know how that works. Yeah. So why is it so cool? Because it's right-hand drive, and we never got it in North America, and the noises and sounds that it makes, and the way it looks. It does sound loud, drive, though. Everything about it is literally the best. Not and super loud, me, but... Yeah. It's the Fast and Furious stuff, man. Like, Brian's car, how could that not be the most legendary thing? That's true. Fast and Furious definitely made this so popular. And then out of video yeah. games... Yeah, it sounded... It looked just like one of the cars from, I think, the second Fast and the Furious Xbox, movie. That one was? Every yeah. Single car, and that's how I knew it was something special. Juice Xbox. I knew it existed, but I wasn't crazy about it until I literally drove it today. Today, yeah. I'm absolutely crazy about it, and this is straight up, I, this is a dream car for me now. It's kind of like Yeah, now you wish you could keep it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, if you really liked it, you would have bought it 10 years ago, but you're waiting until it's popular. Pop quiz. What color Now that's that popular? Like too Fast, Too Furious. It was like green? No, it was green. That was in no. Fast and Furious 4. Oh. When he was go trying to get into that race into uh, Mexico, in two it was silver. With oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yep. silver, silver with the thing on the side. And did you know it was supposed to be an SRT4 neon, 
but Craig Lieberman, who has a YouTube channel, who's the car guy for Fast and Furious, made the switch because he knew Godzilla had to be the hero car. I did not Godzilla know that, had to be. Craig Lieberman. And then in future uh -huh. Fast and Furious, he drove an R35. Remember when he was doing that race at his like house in Dominican with Dom in the Charger? Oh yeah. Challenger? Like, yeah, this is like way down into the Fast and Furious stuff. Yeah, that yeah. was Fast Six where they drove this one. In Fast Five, they had the 1970. Jeez. ACR. Yeah, that's right. They always had to have supercars in those movies. Car. He's actually owned that original Hakusuka. What? He's the R32, the R33, mm, that's good. the R34, this particular one, and he's also owned an R35, but he currently does not own an R35, which actually says a lot about this one. Yeah, honestly, huh. that car is like the coolest, and seeing it in my rearview mirror, like it, it feels straight out of Fast and Furious, and I don't say that a lot, but it had a big effect on me. Interesting. Yeah. So let's get into the GT Ernest. These are both GTRs. This is an R34, that is an R35. Oh, so okay. GTR stands for Gran Turismo Racer. But oh, yeah, there yeah. was no non GTR version of the R35. Correct. And that's actually not even called a Skyline. This is a Skyline GTR. That's just a GTR. Which makes the R34 cooler. What? And so cooler. R32, the GTR has Whoa. been known as Godzilla. <laughs> I was like, what? So why is yours a V-spec? What does that mean? It stands for Victory Specifications. That's pretty bold of them. <laughs> oh yeah, straight up. And they even had a V-spec too later. This one has a different all-wheel drive system and it has an active LSD. It also has stiffer suspension, a lip kit, and a carbon rear diffuser. This particular car has been modified to Jeez. actually include Nismo yeah. stuff. So we have a Nismo carbon fiber hood, We've got a different front bumper, we've got side skirts, so it doesn't look exactly like this, but pretty close. I think the way that the owner did this car is absolutely perfect. Yeah, I was Jeez. Fast I bet. Fast yeah. So much money. That's how I would want to test the like that, yeah. These wheels are also perfect. They are Work Emotion D9R 19s. I love how they look. I love the lips on them and everything. I've got a fun fact for you. Guess what the Continental recommended tire was? for Brian's GTR in Too Fast, Too Furious. I don't know what it is from back then, but I can tell you the current one would be the Extreme Contact Sport. In Too Fast, Too Furious, Brian's GTR was rolling on Conti Sport Contact 2s. Right on. And this is the 50th anniversary. We don't get the Nismo in Canada, but we've got some like ugly stickers on here. <laughs> blue, which is awesome. And don't forget about your really disgusting blue wheels, which I am not a fan of. Yeah, they're ugly. I didn't like the blue wheel. Funny. And I've got colored brake calipers. It's kind of cool. I am not yeah, it's okay. Yeah. The yellow brake calipers on your skyline. Yeah, the I don't like your yellow ones. I like how they perform and I don't mind the looks at all. Yo, why are you so far behind me? Can you not keep up with the R35? Yo, watch these twin turbos spool, baby. God! Damn. <laughs> I love this thing. Sheesh. You have a manual transmission. It takes a lot of money to like keep up with those cars, like the maintenance yeah, and all this stuff. Oh. Uh, he can't have a manual, or he doesn't have, or look, the R35 has an automatic. Oh, okay. yeah. I thought it was both stick shifts at first. Reminds me of my old 240. Reminds me of that 300 ZX we drove, like, it's great. You also have a six-speed with uh, two clutches, actually, over there. Honestly, I love how many similarities there are for, like, uh, having it go over the years. Do you want to talk about some of the similarities? And I guess he has a pedal clutch. I don't know. Yeah. It's confusing. The new ones, like, shifting. Oh, yeah. They do shifting weird now. They do it on the steering wheel. Well, the skyline definitely oh, they do? Than this GT Sometimes, yeah. They're very straight. I don't know. It's weird to me. Someone who, like, has... Three driven Two, stick shift for a very one. long time it's yeah. weird that ah, it's totally so different now let's start with the looks it, uh, well, it's like it'd be easier okay, wouldn't it you just the yeah the most it would totally be easier in the sense of doing it but it's just i don't know it seems like it wouldn't be as effective in the car aspect but it probably is the biggest differentiating factor from behind would probably be the gigantic wing that i have on the r35 yeah i hate that they're okay i mean i like the lore i like the smaller one yeah. i don't like that big like stuff modify those and delete the spoilers what do you think of the quad See, exhaust? Yeah, I don't like the spoilers. I love it. I even like it more than the single exit on this one. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking the same thing, but okay. I don't think they're pull that, that off. nitro come out. This one has obviously Flames. A a single exit. Yeah. I believe it's a Tomei exhaust, and it does sound pretty good. But let's talk about these exhaust sounds, because this is an inline six, and that is a V6. They sound so different, but there are some characteristics that are actually kind of the same. Yeah, I definitely prefer the sound of the R34 more, but this R35 is definitely more livable. Yeah, this R34 yes. is just so yeah. creamy. I'll just give you another sample here we go they creamy oh so good it's funny because i'm oh yeah totally different so much quieter yeah uh, not as good 
Sounds like a I'm so movie. not a car person, so half of this is like foreign language. Yeah. 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 That similar arch line over the rear wheel that you have, except mine's just a lot higher. Yeah, that rear arch line over the uh, rear yeah. wheel on the R34 is my favorite part of it because that's what really gives it that like wide body look. And then as for side profiles, it's cool that we both have frameless doors. Yeah, yeah. I think there's not too many similarities in overall side profile, but I don't think there really need to be. And if we move on to the front end, obviously we've got the GTR logo up front and center, pretty much exactly the same thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the exact same logo, so I love it. And then in this R35 version, they changed the headlight design to kind of come Sleek. up into it. Yeah, it I like the that. The looking thing, but I think it was really I like it. Like yeah. Refresh the design into the future. I don't know. I think that GT35 looks, or R35 is way cooler looking. <laughs> Yo, this is still an old school design. This car is ancient. <laughs> I mean, it kind of is. Make sure you watch our full review on that car. And what's cool is both front ends, you can see nice big intercoolers. Even though this one's been modified, it does look so good. And the engine bay on this RB26 looks so good as well. Hmm. Yeah, and we got a cool engine bay Jeez. on the R35. Look at all yeah. Put, yeah. yeah looks, that engine's that just like pristine and perfect. Yeah. Overall, there are a lot of visual similarities from both front ends. They're both like flat. Especially those engines. And stuff costs a lot of money oh, so yeah not being able to see them side by side i wouldn't think that there's that many similarities but seeing them side by side i do see the resemblance so yeah you wise, see it if pop culture wasn't a thing and right hand drive wasn't a thing and manual wasn't a thing which one would you take more r34 i just have to i like the r34 <laughs> so you but have to. r35 is so close to being as cool looking i totally agree and it really helps that it's in bayside blue as well yeah, it's so loud. Clutch, you pretty much have to drive it with the paddles because it's See? so slow to shift an automatic. Yeah. yeah, and I've got no problem over here because I've got a six speed manual that I'm shifting with my left hand. So now let's switch up the drivers because I need to do some right hand driving. Oh, let's that's... The interiors and then head over to Cliche Corner and figure out which one we like more through the twisties. Oh my god, the boost hits so hard in this. Okay, I mean, yeah, this is good too. Oh my god. Snaps. This thing is crazy. Yeah. Ooh, so yeah, loud. The R35 is definitely like quicker to react and faster, but this just feels so much more raw. It does. This feels like I'm driving a computer. So besides this, <laughs> that's a good point though. Yeah. Like, you think about it. Looking out the window to like change <coughs> the gears. Yeah. Let's get into the interiors and let's start with the gauges. Mine are analog, are yours. Yes, they are. I've got a little bit of digitalness in them, but they're overall analog. Huh. And then I have a multifunction display, which is a screen mm. that shows all Even the in the old one? one? Yeah. What? Well, yeah. You that take might the old be an added thing, though. Yeah, they added it. Yeah. Pretty much all the same gauges. Pretty much the same graphic design. Yeah, yeah. People want old school. Nissan's giving you old school. Yeah, old my school makes me new school. Where I'm supposed to be on the road yeah. is completely off right-hand drive. That would definitely take like a week to get used to. Uh, yeah. I got yeah. Pretty quickly, but I haven't gone through any drive throughs or anything like that. <laughs> shifting on the left-hand side is pretty easy. Like that's not weird to me. At that all. would be so know, weird to me. With the shift from the opposite shift side. Right -hand. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. you're so used to shift. Yeah. 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 Well, people from other countries, I'm sure they say the same thing about us. Uh, yeah, well, exactly. Canada, I'm, they drive on the left side, don't they? Yeah, huh? Yeah, Canada. Yeah, they are driving the same side we do. Very comfortable in the R34. Kind of just they like look almost the same. Yeah. I've got loops in the seat so I could put a harness through. Those the seats look pretty comfortable though. Yeah. No, no, man. It it smells the same way. Yeah, the seats don't feel the same way. I don't know. <laughs> smells from that generation? Yeah, probably. So if I mess around with my multifunction display, I can get shift lights. Can you get them in the GTR? Yes, it's actually in the middle of my gauges though. Oh. I'm actually mm. surprised at how similar these are. It's like a very consistent experience. They did carry the essence of the R34 into here and just kind of futurized it. Huh. I think that's the most important part. Giving Bayside Blue for the 50th anniversary is like the icing on the cake. Huh? Yeah, that's a good move. Just remove the stickers, though. So I have remove the stickers. Yeah. I don't like the way it yeah. yeah. has an airbag in it and it says GTR on the center. I've also got GTR on the center, but I do have a bunch of buttons on here and I obviously have some paddles. And this does feel so digital in comparison to how that one feels. Yeah. And your yeah. whole interior is much more luxurious than this R34. You've got that nice blue color. Yeah, this is pretty much straight up a GT car more than a sports car, I think. 
And in terms of drive modes, this R35 does have three different adjustments, so I'm enjoying R mode Dang. in every single one. How about you? I got a manual transmission and three pedals, so that's just good enough for me. That's probably better, actually. <laughs> Can I point out that this is like the best pedal placement and yeah, the best it's crazy. box ever? I totally agree. I've got no issues with it. You can keel toe. I love everything about that. And I feel like I'm even sitting in a better seating position in the R34 than the R35, like nice and low. You're totally right about that too. It's a lower driving position, huh. and I think I like that more. But this is just a much more comfortable car. This is a better daily, 100%. Oh, yeah. I think... Oh, you know, yeah. Like, I'm a daily driver, driver not like a four guys racer. Driving around, wrong hand drive, and, like, everyone looking at your car. The R35 is a perfect, like, substitute. But... Let's find out for sure through Cliche Corner. So now that we're at Cliche Corner, time for a big send so we can make our final decision on both of these cars. I got a bad feeling I know which one I like more. Yeah, <laughs> I do, but I'm gonna send this one anyways. So this R34, I don't think has traction control. I don't know if the rear wheel steering still works. And driving on the wrong side of the road, my geometry is way off. Yeah, don't crash it. That's not your yeah, car. Yeah, bro. Easy, yeah. I still have a good time. In the R35, oh my God, this, this handles incredibly well. It does feel pretty damn flat, and it just feels so digital. That's the thing that I noticed the most. It's so digital. He likes the old style, like yeah. nitty gritty feel. Oh, most. R34 is so good. Ooh, these brakes are nice. Oh my god, the best downshift ever. Oh, it sounds amazing too. Bruh. Yeah. And it does get a little squirrely. You go too fast, like you think he had like torn Yeah, over. he was, he was shifting up. Though. Yeah. Did you see that? Stay in it and oversteer. Man, this handles so well, but it just feels like it's doing everything for me. It feels so digital. It does not feel analog at all. Which, I mean, some people want that, but I don't think I want that. Uh -huh. This feels like there's no safety blanket. Yeah. But you don't really need it, but you kind of do. Hmm. This is like really fast. Oh my god. So we're gonna switch drivers now and I'm gonna take the newer GTR through cliche, but I have a bad feeling I'm not gonna get much more seat time with this, so I'm gonna give it another send. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, see he shifts up. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, Jacob, I think I matched there. your ripping it sex face. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. I'm probably never gonna get to drive this again, am I? Mm, let's this get is the your last own. moment of my enjoyment in this beautiful car. Yo, Jacob, I need the key. Pull up next to me. <laughs> oh, this is convenient. Right, here's the key. <laughs> I guess it's more easier that way. Huh? It's more easier that way because, yeah. they, you know, yeah. Oh, yeah. I see what you're saying. First. I don't want to kick up stones. It wouldn't work otherwise. Yeah. Oh, yes! He, oh, so obviously, he loves that car. Yeah, he did. Oh my lord. Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. I think GTR is my favorite brand ever. I guess it is its own sub-brand. Like, this launch was so violent. I, I don't think Dang. anyone's had a better launch control than this. And this is an old car. Like, what is going on? Oh, Honestly, modified it car. It's a lot of value. To well, I thought he was in the 2021. Look at my Apple CarPlay. No, they just Apple switched. Exactly yeah. yeah, he's in the 2020. I don't have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, and I don't care. Do you have Android <laughs> Auto in the R35? I actually don't have Android Auto in the R35. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm picking it out of our traction for Cliche Corner. I'm going to keep it in normal because I feel like it's just as crazy. Yeah, I definitely had it in R, but this one, I'm just in manual, so here we go. So right off the bat, this just feels so analog, and I absolutely love it. Let's downshift into third and say... Like the analog better and stuff, because oh, you so have full control over it. Yeah. Man, even rolling into Cliche Corner, this feels a lot less commitment with the automatic, being on the normal side of the road, having traction and assist. This feels pretty similar to that other GTR, but way more analog. And just that sound, oh yes. Oh, I'm, I absolutely love this. I've totally made up my mind. Yeah, this we knew that car. he would go with that one. He yeah, he would. Like the beginning. Like the best yeah. car I've ever driven. And I didn't care about it until I actually drove it. Uh -huh. This feels like so much faster. Uh, if it was a track, I could definitely take that R34 with this. There's pretty much no understeer. It goes exactly where you want to go. The steering wheel doesn't feel weird. The brakes don't feel weird. The gas doesn't feel weird. Like, 
feeling weird is a problem and this doesn't do that. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to be real with you, Jacob. The launch control in this newer GTR is absolutely insane and the speed that I can get through cliche corners safely is out of this world. Mm. It's just so much easier to drive that car faster, no question. Ooh, yeah, do you see that? Yeah, like no. Almost up on those two wheels yeah. for a second. The fanboys giving you thumbs up nonstop. That R34 is way cooler. We've been getting nonstop attention, especially driving both yeah. of these. I <laughs> bet. This yeah. one by itself is insane. Everybody on the highway was giving me thumbs up. I love this thing so much. <laughs> so we should probably get to the price. This 2020 Nissan GTR 50th anniversary aspect is 139. Oh, Canadian. And wondering what this is currently worth. It is worth just over a hundred thousand dollars Canadian depending Shoot. on the spec. However, the owner has already been getting offers from US people offering them like crazy amounts Okay, so that's gonna be a bit more. 105,000 US and something. Yeah, yeah. Jeez. So I think we both agree that we like the R34 better, right? Absolutely, this is the one I love. But I think I know which one someone should buy if they had a choice between the two. They should buy both. Really? Buy <laughs> both. Like, get 180 grand. Both. I guess you can get both. And that way you get the best work a little hard to afford both. Right, I wasn't expecting you to say that, but I mean, oh I guess. Oh my lord. Yeah, and I mean, no. like, you know, say you go for a cruise with your wife. She can take one car, you can take the other. You can go <laughs> like we are, because I think anyone who's seen both It's not really cruising together, with right each now, other if you're yeah. taking separate cars. Their friggin minds. I mean, you're not wrong about that at all. Everyone that's seen this is just going nuts. So with that being said and done, let us know which cars we should compare in the future between old and new. I'm thinking Supra next. Supra versus Supra, old NSX versus new NSX. Let us know if you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And thank you guys for watching. Patreon.com slash the straight pipes and Teespring for uh, drip, right? Yeah, 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 drip. Cop that drip, cliche corner. Honestly, Jacob, I just want to point out how crazy this is that we're doing this right now. And like a huge thanks to everyone who's watching this whole time because this is like the craziest dream come true. I actually <laughs> can't believe I'm driving this car. So thank you guys for watching, for enabling me to be able to do crazy stuff like this. Thanks guys. This is like, this is next level. Okay, I'll send it. Oh yeah, downshift and send. Huh. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they definitely like some Who's... fast and furious like cars. Yeah, they totally were. I didn't realize that the, um, the R34 GTR was the same one that, um, it's Paul nice. Walker. Yeah, Paul Walker. Yeah. Drove. It seems like almost in every, yeah, the Fast and the Furious. every movie, too. And Fast and the Furious 4, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah that was like one of his favorite cars, that. yeah. It, it definitely looked like it would be a lot of fun. I kind of get the old... Okay, so if I could have the old car with the manual with transmission... The manual, yeah. And the cool, like, gritty-nitty stuff, but in the new body, that yeah. would probably be what I'd want. I like that newer, sleek body. Yeah, I'm like... It's more yeah. of a sleek... I don't know. That's just this is pretty I much don't the, like the boxy. Yeah, much. this is pretty much like the old cars. It just like more like they modernized it. You know, right? Like put all the digital stuff. It is in there. pretty darn similar to the old one. Yeah, it it's is. It's just modernized. Like yeah, it is modernized, man. Definitely looks. Yeah, different. they definitely like some real fast cars. Uh -huh. like, oh, yeah, they'd be fun to race. Yeah, they would be, man. I mean, I'm not. I mean, I'm not really like a big car person. I mean, I like cars and stuff like that, but um, these cars are just like. <laughs> just too fast, man. Too fast. And some people like that. I mean, but it's like the problem is you got these fast cars, but it's not like you can really like go as fast as you want with them. I mean, because right. like you got like speed limits. That's and just stuff. it. I mean, I feel like people that buy these are, you might be racing somewhere, but yeah. I feel like it's a lot of time it's like collectors or people yeah. who really are into cars and they're going to, you know, like this yeah. guy who owned the old uh, R34, he obviously put a lot of work and money into yeah, it. Yeah, he and did. Just it up. And then it's Especially just when I a, set up for hundred grand. Right. And then it's just a fun cruising vehicle. It's yeah. not like a, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, but this is definitely a, a good one, uh, mm -hmm. Demetrio. We definitely thank you yeah, for this. Yeah, I don't think I ever was someone to Yeah, this suggestion. <laughs> yeah. And we thank you for your support. Mm -hmm. But we're going to end this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And thumbs it up. Turn on notifications. It should be more to be. And cool. we catch you on the next one. Awesome. Peace and love.